So I get a lot of questions about how I power VHX Stomp. Now it's a good question because VHX Stomp is unique. It's special. You can't just slap it on a board like this and not have some knowledge going into it. There are some important things that you need to know, things that I know that you don't. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know. Anyways, I had to do a bunch of research to figure out exactly how to power the HX Stomp correctly. And I've come up with what I think is the best solution. It's really worked for me. And the reason I wanna do this video is because I'm in Facebook groups that are dedicated to the Stomp and I am constantly seeing uh, posts saying, hey, I'm having problems powering the HX Stomp. I didn't realize this was a problem. What do I do? So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know to power your HX Stomp. I'm gonna give you links and everything you need, so stick around. Hey, Worship Leader, welcome back. Hey, I just wanna pause and say thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber. We have some new folks to the channel and as I'm recording this, we have 733 people in the Hey Worship Leader community. That's awesome, that's amazing, I'm excited. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. If you've been around this channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm passionate about worship ministry. On this channel, we discuss things like how to lead and resource your teams well, also how to shepherd and pastor your people through your worship ministry, and we also talk about gear. Now, gear is one of my favorite things to talk about, and specifically, anything related to electric guitar. And today, specifically, we're talking about the HX Stomp and how to power the HX Stomp. If you like the Stomp as much as I do, I actually made a playlist, I'll link it right here. You can go check out more videos. One thing that's great about the Stomp is that you can just pull it right out of the box, plug it in and start playing. But if you wanna put your Stomp on a pedal board like I did, there are some problems, specifically three problems we're gonna talk about today, things you need to know before you get started. The first thing is that the power block that comes with the Stomp is big and it's ugly. And if you're anything like me, I like minimal, clean looking things. And this power block is anything but that. I wish I could show you, but I don't even have it here. I put it away somewhere. I think it's up at the church, but trust me, it's hideous. Now, if you want to power it with another power supply, you run into your second problem, and that is that the HX Stomp requires 900 milliamps of power. That's a lot of power. Most other pedals require much less than that. And the problem is, is that most power supplies only have outputs that supply 500 milliamps of power max. So you're gonna need a power supply that can distribute power between two different outlets. Let me set you up right here. I went with the Chalks DC7 power supply. I love it for a lot of reasons. It's sturdy, it looks cool, and it's a low profile, so it sits under this board really well. The other cool thing about it is that it has these little dip switches here. I'm calling them dip switches. I don't know what they're called, but you can click these up or down to get the milliamps, the power that you need. That's a really cool feature and one of the reasons that I spent a little more money to get this power supply. Oh, by the way, there'll be a link to everything I mentioned today, everything you'll need. The links will be in the description. But yes, this power supply is very handy. It lets you split power between two different outlets. It's the way to go. The problem is that you need the right cable. More on that in a second. Now this leads into problem number three and that is that the HX Stomp needs a 2.5 millimeter center negative barrel. That is not the norm. The norm is a 2.1 center negative millimeter. I actually found an important note from line six and it says this, the HX Stomp sophisticated circuitry pulls notably more power than your average pedal. Hence, we used a DC in jack with a larger center pin to sort of disincentivize people from throwing whatever at it. Note that Eventide does the same exact thing with their H9. So there's your three problems. You're gonna need a power supply if you don't wanna use that hideous block. You need a current doubler cable from problem number two, which we're about to address. And problem number three is that it's very hard to find a cable that has a 2.5 center negative barrel. So the typical answer that I see on forums is that, okay, you gotta get this cable, but then you got to get the adapter to get the 2.5 instead of the 2.1, but you have to make sure it's center negative and not positive, and you have to make sure you use the green end and not the red tip, and oh my gosh, it just keeps going, just stop, just stop. Luckily, I found the solution to all of that. There's a company called Logston Audio that makes the exact cable you need for this exact situation. I mean, look at this diagram. It's everything we need. It's a current doubler on this side and it's a 2.5 barrel just for the HX Stomp on that side. And nobody seems to know about this cable. And that's why I'm telling you about it. So you can skip all these other adapters, all these other cables with connections that could potentially fail you and just get the cable that was designed for it. Look, it's beautiful. Comes right out of the Stomp, goes through, comes out, and I have it coming 
into two of these inputs right here. And I can tell you that this setup not only powers the stomp, but it powers all these other pedals as well. And I've actually filled up all the rest. I'm not using them all, but I have filled up all the rest of the, yep. <clears throat> I have filled up all the rest of the outputs of this and it powers it all, no problem. It's definitely the way to go. All right, so I wanted to play you some sound samples from the stomp because, well, you made it this far and the stomp sounds amazing. that was helpful for you guys if it was just like the video subscribe to the channel and ding that bell so you can be notified when a new video comes out I want to do everything I can to help you become the best worship leader you can be like I said earlier thank you for being a subscriber I will see you guys in the next video bye say hi to the camera
Hi. Hi. Can't touch it. What is all this stuff? Are we filming? What is it? Beep, boop. Give me kisses. Oh, okay. Say hello to the people. Say, look here. Look right here. Say hello.